Hey. Got something. Mr. Kowalski here works for Park Services. He was working a double shift last night around the same time in the same place as the victim. And guess what? Mr. Kowalski just ID'd one of them from the books. Turns out he's got a rap sheet. Matt Keaton. Some of his greatest hits include petty larceny and car theft. Last known address. How good am I? Guys. Hey, Baron. Take care of the I don't know. I think we should keep looking. Why? We got a positive ID. Can't get better than positive. But I got a gut on this. Did she just say gut? Mm-hmm. Since when do you start going on your gut? You sound like Sam. Hey. She learned from the best. No witnesses, nothing. So until we get some more focus. What about Edward Creel? Sam, don't. It's not our case. What about him, Sam? Cases sound kind of similar. Maybe your boy's a copycat. Might provide some of that focus you're looking for. We checked it out, but uh, we don't think so. No one really remembers Creel anymore. Don't you two have a stray dog to catch? I don't know, Gene. Is your wife missing? <laughs> I I you thought that was hysterical. Not at all. I've seen Jean's wife. Sam, you have already been in front of the review board twice this year. You are always pissing people off. Enough. What is your deal? You want to know the truth? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Truth is, I like pissing people off. I'm super good at it. And that is my deal. Good. I can't believe you're even considering this. Sam, he doesn't want to come forward. But it's a good thing, Jane. Here's a witness who says it was an accident. It'll clear John of any homicide charges. Okay, so maybe it gets charged with assault instead? Or maybe, Sam, there are some hotheads in there who don't care what he's charged with. They just want revenge for Michael's death. Or maybe everything will work out. Sam, that's too many maybes. So what are you gonna do? Ignore the witness, pretend you never met him? If I have to. But I don't know. Sam, I don't know. Jane, that's a crime. And you can ruin your career. No, you could ruin mine. I'm sorry, but this is my investigation and I gotta take it to Connor. Sam, you can't do that. You don't understand. Why is it your job to protect John Clayton? Mr. Jeffries, can I please have your autograph? Ricky. A stamp? You're welcome, kids. Stay in school. Be like Jamal. You are about to become the newest member of the Charlotte Banshees. I am so excited. I mean, all in one day, I'm starting a whole new life, and I have my very own big-time agent. Oh, now, I, I don't want you to just think of me as your agent. I'm also your friend. Oh, that is so sweet, Lauren. And I don't want you to only think of me as just your client, because I am also your ex-client. Biatch, got you then. Oh, shit. Give me that. Give me the facts. Give it to me. Get it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Mr. Daniels? Give me it. Mr. Daniels, your wife is on line three? Tell her I'm with a client, will ya? Okie dokie. God, this is great. When Coach Rivers gets on the phone, I want you to tell her the truth. The whole truth. Okay, I will. I'll tell her. I'll say, Coach Rivers, uh, yeah, uh, Coach Rivers, the only way Lauren could make money off me was to dress me up like this and trick you into signing me. Okay, that's how, about, how about that's not at all the truth, okay? I had nothing to do with what this. What do you mean? You had nothing to do with it, Lauren. Come on. All I did was tell you about a phenomenal basketball player. And what did you do? You, you set up the tryouts. You negotiated the contract. You broke the deal, baby. You kind of created me. you Frankenstein. No one's gonna believe you're a woman. You did? Come on, Lauren, what do you expect me to do? Basketball is the only thing I really know how to do. And I have to make a living. So until you figure out how to get me back with my team, you can just look for me in the women's locker room, baby. The women's locker room. Checking out booties. Say, you mind if I got something to drink? I ran out. Well, how about if I use your bathroom? It's broken. Well, I'm a mighty tired. Do you mind if I crash on the couch? Don't have one. Would well, you mind if I use the phone? Listen to me. My line's dead. Okay, why don't you just cut the crap? You're not getting in my house. You don't need to come into my house. You don't need to use the bathroom. You can't sleep on my couch. I don't need you to go inside checking for any burglars. And I don't have any aspirins for your fake out headache. So I tell you what, you're not getting inside me or my house. So you and little puppy can just get to stepping. Get to stepping. How about a little kiss? I ain't giving you no little kiss. Giving you no little kiss. Guys, look. I I messed up, all right? 
I mean, what I did, it was, it was wrong. It was selfish. And I'm, I'm truly sorry. When I first got here, I, I gotta tell you, I thought women basketball was a big joke. Hell, I thought anything that wasn't about Jamal Jeffries was a big joke. Turns out the joke was on me. That's because I thought that the most important thing about basketball was being a star. That's until you guys taught me that the only way to truly shine is to be a part of a team. <laughs> Excuse me? Dang it! What are you doing? Now I have to start my voodoo ritual all over again. Voodoo ritual? Yes, Voodoo Ritual. I was about to sacrifice this chicken. But that chicken's not alive. I know the chicken is not alive, smart little girl. What, do you figure that out when you saw it didn't have a head? No. Now, what are you doing here? What, what, what do you want? Why, why, why are you all up in the Voodoo Ritual space? I'm looking for clues as to who's behind the strange behavior of the students. Oh. Well, here's a clue. Purple is a fall color. It's the middle of May. Pardon? Listen, do yourself a favor and get off this island. Go home before evil befalls your little skinny aerobicized booty. And whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not go into that spooky island castle. Aha! Uh -huh. You want me to go up to that castle? Didn't you just hear what I said? Guy was such a goofball. Man. Good Lord, look out, Miss Boob Job. We got another fine hiney coming in. Bam! Boob, come on, man. Jeez, man. That ain't funny. Why? It's going to be a long war, freak. It's going to be a short one you keep that, huh? <laughs> Besides, I'm not the badass here. You the badass. Come on, General George Patton. They should just pin that fruit salad on your chest and we can all just go right home right now. And that's why I hang with your ass, because you the toughest, baddest general there is. Yeah. Oh! Ouch! You want me to get you some ice? And don't piss off the white folks, okay? In other words, be incognito, yo. Oh, man, I... Food, sweetheart. Are, aren't you little Richard? <laughs> well, I better be. Oh, and you! Be happy! <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with the teenager? <laughs>